Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your QuickBooks online account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you link or connect your credit card account to your QuickBooks online account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to link your credit card account to your QuickBooks online anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running a business, you know that oftentimes we'll use our credit cards for business expenses. And by linking your credit card account to your QuickBooks, you can automatically update those transactions in your QuickBooks record. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my QuickBooks account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you wanna go ahead and link your credit card account to your QuickBooks, what you're gonna do is here on the left, click on menu, this little arrow next to it. Once you do that, you're gonna see a drop down menu and you wanna hover over transaction. Once you do that, click on bank transactions. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna get the option to go ahead and connect an account, this green button down here. If you already have other banks that connected, you're gonna see the connect account button here up towards the top right. Okay, so in order to link your credit card account to your QuickBooks online account, you're gonna to need to log in to your credit card account. So for me, I have my credit card with Chase. So you just type in the name of the bank and then you're gonna see a couple of different results. So go ahead and choose the one that most applies to you. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. Okay, QuickBooks lets you know you do need to sign into your Chase account in order to connect your credit card account to your QuickBooks. So you're gonna need your username and password. So I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, next Chase opens up a login screen. So again, you do need to enter in your username and password to your credit card account. Now I'm logging in with Chase. If you bank with somebody else, it's gonna be a similar process. It might be slightly different, but basically you need to log in. Sometimes they're gonna send a confirmation email or a text. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in now. Okay, now Chase is warning me that my credit card account is gonna be connected through a company called Intuit. They are the data provider and that information will be shared with my QuickBooks. If you're okay with that, just scroll to the bottom and click on next. Okay, next Chase warns me that this information will be shared with my QuickBook. If you're okay with that, scroll to the bottom and click on next. Okay, next you need to choose the credit card account that you wanna share with your QuickBooks. If you have more than one credit card, you can easily just check the box next to them. For me, I'm just gonna share this one credit card right here. Okay, so once you've chosen the credit card that you would like to link to your QuickBooks, scroll to the bottom and click on next. Okay, next you wanna make sure that the credit card account that you're sharing with your QuickBooks is correct. So that one right there, it's okay with me. And then scroll to the bottom and click on connect my accounts. Okay, next QuickBooks is going to show your credit card account. So if you wanna share that information, just click on the credit card, this one right here. And once you click on credit card, you wanna go ahead and enter the account type. So it looks like I only have cash and cash equivalent. I'm gonna to need to change that because this is a credit card account. So I'm gonna click on add new. Okay, so here you wanna go ahead and enter in the information for your credit card account. So account type, I'm gonna click on credit card. And then the name, I'm gonna put here my Chase credit card. Okay, and detail type, we'll put that as credit card. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and close. Okay, next you wanna go ahead and choose how many transactions you would like for them to download from your credit card account into your QuickBooks. So I'm gonna click this drop down, And for me, I'm just gonna do this month. You can do custom if you want. A lot of times you can only go back up to two years. Most banks only allow you to download 24 months worth of transactions. So for me, I'm just gonna do this month. And then you wanna go ahead and click on connect. Okay, a quick second later, I get this pop-up saying all set, you're connected and ready to go. So now my credit card is linked to my QuickBooks online. So let me click on done. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes and you should see your credit card account right here in your QuickBooks like mine. So now when I need to update my transactions, I can do that much easier because my credit card account is linked to my QuickBooks now. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to link or connect your credit card account to your QuickBooks online, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.